sit up here and tell me that Jay and I losing this moment. Let's talk some fucking facts, bro. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck is these rappers doing? All jokes aside. If the game not losing his momentum, then what's going on? I want to hear it. Is it better? Is my sound better? He said, bro, you like 30. Almost. Why you always using weird emojis? Why you on my dick so hard? God damn, you don't know how old I am. But y'all really gonna y'all really finna sit up here and tell me Virginia not losing this momentum. Like, let's talk some facts. Real shit. All jokes aside. Who name some people? If they, if we not losing no if we not losing momentum, name some people who y'all actually listening to. Name some rappers with real motion. Name some that they they doing. Like let's really start talking the cap the facts. I mean, <clears throat> this nigga on what this nigga on my dick so hard. He said, we just had Shabuzi and Tommy Richmond hit the Billboard Hot 100. Those are two artists that never received any real recognition from Virginia. <sighs> that nobody was fucking with their music. I'm not going to say nobody besides their fan base. Virginia don't even represent their own artists, bro. Just a, just a year ago, niggas was saying Shabuzi wasn't, you know what I'm saying? His music wasn't like that. He wasn't lit. Niggas cling on to whatever is looking good or appeasing. That's settling for the bare minimum. That's really, y'all, that's that's like these niggas, niggas be more happy with fucking Instagram views than YouTube or Spotify listens. So y'all telling me we not losing this momentum. Don't don't take the two don't take the two successful artists and try to run off with it and say that's the momentum. No, those are signed artists that's doing their thing. Shout out to them though. Like, and we need that. But that's not that's not that's not the momentum that we talking about. That's latching on to two artists. That y'all that the people don't even respect, the people don't listen to their music. That's niggas riding the wave. Where is the wave? Where is the artist that's doing their thing? You say, what I mean by momentum? Momentum is a wave of people, a wave of artists doing their thing. You can single those two artists out, and those are signed artists, bro. So if if those artists are signed, all they got to do is push a button. Make a good song and push a button. Where is the wave at? Where is what's going on? Y'all not going to wake up today and play their music. <laughs> let's let's keep it all the way a thousand. Y'all don't even like different genres of music, so we can't latch on to artists y'all don't listen to. Where is the y'all like street rappers? Y'all like rappers that rap that shit. Where is they? <sighs> Hefe, you speaking on something totally different. I get what you trying to say, and I get what you saying, and that's big for Virginia, but that's all people do. You latching on to an artist and saying that's momentum. No, those are two rising stars. They doing their thing. They putting on for Virginia, but they can't sustain it by themselves. That's not that's that's their success. <laughs> Just keeping it bad with you. That's their success. And you see what they doing. They broke the mold. You see them two. Hey, we're gonna stick together. Hey, bro, you from wherever you from. Okay, let's keep it, man. Those are two Northern Virginia artists. Y'all finna latch on to Northern Virginia artists now? That's what we doing? They from Virginia, which is a great thing, but y'all don't even support 703 artists. Y'all don't even support Young Mo. Now y'all trying to support those two and say that's Virginia's momentum? Come on, bro. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, bro. Let's keep it real, bro. That's sad. That's sad. That that show you that show you how much niggas will 
you know what I'm saying, not niggas, but people will settle for the bare minimum and latch on to it and say that's what's going on. Bro, y'all don't listen to their music, bro. Y'all y'all talk so much about the local artists. Y'all talk so much about the upcoming. Where is the wave at? Everything has a process. So, okay, if everything has a process, are y'all ready to do away with the old process? Because if them two artists on Billboard, so are we looking for artists to hit Billboard now? Because I've been saying this for years. I've been saying that's that's where we want to go. So are we looking for artists to make it on Billboard now? Or just when it come to local artists, long as they do 100,000 on Instagram, it's lit. Let me know, because I'm confused. I'm confused. When y'all say momentum, who else can y'all speak of besides them two Billboard high artists? That that y'all don't really support. Y'all didn't really support in the last two years. Y'all wasn't speaking of them in the last two years until they made a name for themselves in different parts of the world. Let's talk about it. Name some artists. He say that's the start. They kicking the door down for smaller artists and, and letting everyone know it's possible. Bro, they've been signed for the last three years. If y'all was listening to their music, y'all would have knew about them. He said, Live out loud, you not supporting gang. You a news outlet. No, nigga, I'm Glass TV, nigga. I've been supporting these niggas. Name these other niggas who been helping. <coughs> Come on, bro. Talk about it. Name anybody who been helping. Lex Luger ain't been helping. What the fuck? Let's talk about it. Ask me any question y'all got that's up here. That why we up here. Let's talk about it. Y'all finna say, y'all trade y'all trash me, but Lex Luger say niggas ain't doing shit. Y'all oh, oh shit, shit. Yeah, he right, he right, bro. Where I think the conversation came from. And this nigga up here, Osama, I'm finna block you because you just a dick eater. Like, you woke up this morning and say, bro, I want to ride glass dick. I just want to, I don't even, I ain't even brush my teeth. I'm just going to ride dick all day. That's all I'm going to do. You bitch ass nigga. I'm going to start giving y'all pussy ass niggas hell like I was giving in 2019. And I know you one of my fan ass niggas who watch everything I do. Now you dick suck. Don't try to join my live, you bitch ass nigga. I don't like y'all niggas no more. I ain't showing y'all niggas no love no more. We gonna keep it the facts. What is niggas doing? The rappers y'all love and y'all look up to, where is they momentum? I can't put y'all on. I give all the game. I give all the advice. I give the game and the advice to the big niggas who pose to put y'all on. What are they doing? <laughs> what do they do? I've been supporting niggas for so long and nobody even be like, oh, bro, glass for VA. I asked Pusha T for 30,000. Niggas say, I'm dumb for that. I'm over here. I'm on y'all side. How the fuck that work out? Talk to me, y'all. Where the people at? Where y'all favorite rappers at? Where y'all local rappers at that won't, 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 won't. That, that's popping they shit. Let us talk. Now let's 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 see what he talk about. If you don't come in here saying some facts, you getting kicked off. Y'all niggas just be wanting to argue. He say so. How y'all feel about buzzing art at seven five seven? What's buzzing? What's buzzing? We get it mixed up because a nigga doing Instagram views does not mean they buzzing, bro. That's mean they doing views on Instagram. When you go and look up their streams, you go and look up nigga Spotify, you go and look up niggas YouTube, bro, they can't even get 5,000 views in a day. What's buzzing? Y'all telling me that's buzzing? They got less than fucking 10,000 monthly listens on Spotify. Y'all telling me that's buzzing? They not really doing shows. Y'all telling me that's buzzing? 100,000 views is not buzzing.
Show me. Tell me what's buzzing. I can tell y'all the niggas who doing it. Because I see everything. I know what I'm talking about. Y'all settle for bare minimum and y'all go with bare minimum and think that's the biggest shit ever. Oh, a nigga did 100,000 views on Instagram. Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, that's on Instagram. They don't even get off Instagram and go and listen to the song. Because if they did, it would have 100,000 views on YouTube, wouldn't it? Right? Me and Money, I see her in here. She went and did an interview with Dirty Glove Bastards. An interview. It's at a, almost a million views. That's buzzing. A fucking interview. You ain't gonna say y'all ain't gonna champion that. Like, it's shit crazy. <clears throat> he, she, he said, I don't see nobody making it big out of Virginia. I can't name him. I can't name him either. <laughs> Bro always talking about VA. Nigga, ain't I'm a Virginia nigga? Ain't I'm a nigga who put on for VA? What the fuck else you want me to talk about? Music industry shit all day? The shit that don't pay y'all or don't help y'all get paid? I can. I do that too. You on my dick, on my line, knowing I'm a Virginia nigga. What you, what you want from me, bro? You tuned in. Y'all say rappers dying. Bro, rappers been dying since the beginning of time. Y'all gonna say, oh my God. Y'all come with every excuse in the book to not. Bro, just say niggas is not lit, bro. Just say niggas is not dropping good music, bro. Just say y'all don't have rappers to look, listen. Y'all don't listen to y'all rappers' music. Y'all lying. I'm just one of them niggas that speak the facts. Who y'all riding around in the city listening to right now, bro? Tell me. <laughs> like, just niggas' music is not good. I'm not, I'm not the one to say it's trash because y'all, they got their fans. You feel me? Everybody got their own fans. But when it comes to the music leading out, where is the next Lil Baby, bro? Where is the next A Boogie or, or where is the next Rod Wave or where is the, where is the shit? Give me, give, where is Rob 49? Where is Skiller Baby? Where is these niggas that we watch and we listen to their music? Where is they at? We don't have that. If we have that, y'all will be able to name them. Don't get on here and just say your favorite local rapper name because you like his Instagram clout. Do you wake up and play these niggas' music? Where are they? Because they will be buzzing. <clears throat> I'm, a key, I'm, I'm here to keep it a band with y'all now whether niggas hate me or not. Who music do y'all listen to? If y'all was really supporting these artists these artists will be blowing up y'all don't even listen to their music bro and on top of that what is they they don't have I me mean, i don't want to i get paid around all my virginia artists people ask from pictures got me or money you know we don't gotta go back and forth about what you doing who popping right now outside i right, okay somebody said who popping right now outside of niggas who signed Young Chris doing shows in Canada and on tour. Niggas don't even support Young Chris and Young Chris music. And his music is big enough to blow up. And he blowing up. He dropped a project doing 9 million streams out the gate. I ain't see not one of y'all post that nigga music and say he doing this shit for Virginia. So name the niggas. If Young Chris ain't doing it, if Stay Silent Rocky ain't doing it, who doing it? Hey, what the fuck? I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out I don't care I don't give a fuck to rap Y'all making this about me I'm a fucking blogger and an a &R. I came on the scene helping Putting niggas in the door Ask me all the niggas I help Stop making it about me Just Go and look at my moves and what I've done for niggas They won't tell y'all the truth Because it's gonna hurt their brand I could tell you everything I've done for Virginia niggas. They dropped the fucking ball. When the music was good, they dropped the ball thinking they was bigger than their music. Instead of running off what they hit at the time. Let's keep it all the way at 1,000. Niggas thought they was bigger than their music, and now they fell off. Are we going to speak the facts? Your favorite rappers and local rappers have fallen off. We not talk about money falling off. We talk about music. Their music has fell off. Who are y'all listening 
accustomed to. Y'all going back to play niggas old shit. That's why we still talk about I'm a dog. We still talk about no talking. We still talk about whatever. I don't want to keep even naming them niggas. We still talk about Rover. We still talk about different niggas. You feel me? When it come to Richmond, nigga Trap Ties Kai is the only artist right now who has been able to maintain a steady, consistent numbers in the last five years. When you go and look at his YouTube, he's able to pull 50,000 views, 100,000 views, 200,000 views, half a million views. That's buzzing. That's people listening to his music. You know what I mean? Like, is we gonna talk facts or we gonna just talk the bullshit? I don't care if they bigger than me. That's that's what they supposed to do. <laughs> Niggas got their own talent then. As soon as a motherfucker hop on their wave, it's stolen flow. Bro, y'all I'm gonna say these all these rappers, local rappers not stealing niggas flows. I can go and find 10 Pooh Shiesties right now that's dropping music. I can find 10 YTB facts. I can find, come on, bro. I can find five little dirks right now. And on top of that, anybody you can you can pay for YouTube views and it's gonna show. A nigga got half a million views with a hundred likes, bro. You pay for it, bro. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong with that because you supposed to pay for your promotion, but you pay for that. If it was organic, don't y'all think it would be buzzing? Once y'all hear this shit on the radio, once y'all hear people riding around the city. Not just your way, your part of town. Once you hear people riding around Virginia listening to this shit, it's gonna start making sense till it start fucking making sense, bro. So I'm here. Paint me as the hater while I'm gonna keep speaking truth to you niggas until y'all go and make some fucking hit songs. Until y'all, the fans, is actually gonna say, oh, bro, this the nigga. This the nigga we listening to, or this the girl we listening to. This is the music we ride around listening to. Y'all don't show that. They show in the niggas' views and the numbers. When niggas was making enough noise, won't they views hit almost a million views? When their music was good, won't it doing 100,000, 200,000? Wasn't they doing shows? Wasn't they performing? Niggas have been getting booked in the VA. Local rappers, their fucking booking prices has never went over $2,000. Y'all telling me they buzzing? It's a fact. Rappers been dying. Niggas scared to rap. And if VA was connected like Atlanta, it would have a bigger platform. We always say that to Virginia, Atlanta. Why don't them rappers leave Virginia and go and do a show in Atlanta? If they leave Virginia, nobody would know them. They are a regular nigga. Nothing wrong with that either, though. But your music is not reaching outside of Virginia. That's the main point I'm putting out to y'all. They're buzzing in y'all city. Y'all like them. The outside world don't give a fuck about them and don't know them. Where is the next little baby? Where is the next fuck? Let's just name niggas. Where is the next little dirt? Where is the next Tootsie? Where is the next Rod Wave? Where is the next this? Where is the next that? We don't have a top five fucking rapper that we listen to. Who are you going to compare them to? You going to put little baby beside the local nigga? Y'all satisfied with fucking Instagram views. Uh, she said, I know people in Atlanta from VA that don't claim VA because VA don't support, but they streaming. I mean, and that's why people don't know that they're from VA because they Atlanta niggas now. So they Atlanta niggas. What the fuck? We finna keep saying they from Virginia. They Atlanta niggas, ain't they? It's like Robert's been done. Um, get a little low on the future. And every Everybody loves Virginia people, bro. So we got to put that out there. The state, I mean, the industry loves Virginia artists. But niggas is not popping, bro. Niggas is not hard. I'm going to stay a blogger and you stay a broke-ass nigga in Virginia not doing nothing with your life, hating on a blogger. Let's, let's, let's talk facts. You keep waking up on your motherfucking blow-up mattress with nothing to do. But hey, go and get your fentanyl all perk, pop that bitch back, roll your ass back, Roll your blunt or bubble and keep dick eating. Because that's all you doing. He said, bro, the hella people smooth know that's how I know Glass tapped in all through Carolina. You already know. I appreciate you, bro. I ain't going back and forth when we talk about reach. You know what I'm saying? 
We ain't talking about me right now. We talk about the Virginia losing this momentum. They gon' they hate it. instead of putting the, the the hate on the fucking rappers who y'all supposed to be mad that they not popping, that they not making good music, they not making music for y'all to listen to and ride to and get money to and fuck a bitch to. Them the people y'all supposed to be mad at. So maybe I need to go and rap. Cause y'all hate on me so much. Y'all watch me. Maybe I need to rap and try to make a hit song for y'all. Y'all do I need to do that? Cause I ain't trying to do that. I don't give a fuck about being a rapper. <laughs> like it's like you say VA connected, we move quiet, we commonwealth. Oh man, y'all got so many excuses, bro. Just say nigga songs and music is not good, bro. Just say your favorite rapper, local rappers have fallen off, bro. God damn. Y'all will do anything besides accept the truth, bro. This is what's wrong with this shit. Yeah, shit, shit watered down. I'm not trying to be the one to say it. But y'all, the people, and I see it all the time. The people are so excited with the bare minimum, they forget about the goal. Now we got two artists on Billboard Hot 100. That's the goal. So if they set in the standard, why y'all don't hold local artists to the same standard? Does that make sense? When you, you go and look at them two billboard niggas or go and look at one of the billboard niggas, you go and look down his catalog, nine million, eight million, two million. Come on, bro. What when the last time a nigga hit a million? When the last time a nigga video from from y'all niggas, the, the the local people hit a million? <laughs> like, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's come on, bro. Come on, bro. He said, hey, give me to the end of this year. I'm going to have Glass giving me 10%. That was loud. Bro, shut up, bro. Still, still talk about Party Girl song. That's still one of the biggest songs to level. When is the, where is the next song that's going to do 130 million on YouTube? Who is the next nigga to get signed? Who is the next rapper that's going to blow up? These are the questions y'all got to start asking when y'all think about local artists. Who next? Name a nigga who next. Shout out Wild Boy, he doing a good job right now. His last show, who doing a show that look like Wild Boy? He just did a show at Honcho. I mean, he just did performed at Honcho show. Who doing shows with people got lights on them, whether they know the music or not? Why did Guapo paving? Okay. Yeah, okay. Everybody's still in boss man style as we speak. You can't force people to fuck with you. Leave the state niggas only trying to impress. I'm telling you, this the problem. Everybody just trying to uh, 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 get Virginia support. And that's why the music not going. The niggas have Virginia support, though. You have every, if, if these local artists already have Virginia on their side and they buzzing in Virginia, that's a great thing. But we're the number wilder. I might be talking in circles. I might, I might be talking in circles, and I hate talking in circles. Their music is not leading outside of Virginia. That's the problem. Virginia is so small, man. It's the mentality. Because if their music was leading out, don't you see we see half a million? We would see a million here. We would see this nigga getting signed. We would see this nigga on tour. We would see this nigga. I don't give a fuck if they go and do a fucking interview at, at, at I don't fucking know. Who would say cheese want to come and do, who would say cheese want to interview? If you want to make it about local rappers, who can say cheese come interview right now and that'll turn the people up? Trap ties, can. <laughs> Niggas is not working, bro. It's, we losing momentum and settling for the bare minimum and taking whatever we can get. So if we get a nigga, oh, he did 50,000. Hey, bro, he doing a half a million on Instagram. Bro, nobody listening to that music, bro. It's lit on Instagram because everybody on Instagram. But how is that translating over into streams? I can call niggas out, but would they post their streams for y'all? Would they post the last time, the last song that they dropped? They can't, can't get 5,000 views, bro. They can't get 10,000 views, bro, unless they pay for it. From the smallest to the biggest. Let's talk about it. You won't see these niggas barking up the tree no more. You won't see these niggas trying to have a talk with me. They're going to talk about old shit. Well, I was doing this five years ago. I was doing this three years ago. What the fuck are you doing now?
I'm a blogger. I'm doing what I'm doing. So don't bring about me. I'm still pulling in 10, 20 million views a month. So if I'm doing what I'm doing, the rappers ain't got to do what they supposed to do. Niggas have fallen off. Let's keep it a band. Stop making excuses for these niggas, bro. VA rap is not original. They need the shipyard to sign them. That's another thing. Niggas is about to go get, get jobs. And that's fine. I, I'm not downplaying niggas with jobs. Go and get a job, bro. Because a lot of shit is over with. They, they got the chains. They had a buzz. They had a half a million view video or 100,000 or 200,000. Where did it go? Nowhere. Paint me as the hater, cool. I be the biggest hater, like Kendrick say. I hate the way you niggas rap. I hate the way you niggas dress. I hate the bitches y'all fuck. Shit, I hate the way, what, even how you think. I'm over here making melodic shit, and I hear these niggas talking about flow. Give me a little. Bro, just because you rapping don't mean your shit is good, bro. I feel like niggas ain't. Thank you, Rue. I feel like niggas ain't road running enough in Virginia. Thank you. How? No disrespect, Mill Money. How the fuck is Mill Money in a wheelchair road running more, more than these niggas? And these niggas got two feet. Two working feet. She disabled in, in different states doing shows. In different states doing auditions. In different states getting looks. She disabled in a fucking wheelchair. You mean to tell me niggas with two feet and two legs that's working ain't outworking her? This shit is crazy. How the fuck a disabled wheelchair female rapper is doing more than your favorite local rappers, bro? Y'all don't see the problem? And y'all telling me Virginia not losing this momentum? You niggas out your fucking mind. That's true. Tell a Cali nigga DMV music he gonna think you talking about the car. It's about being in a certain room. Who can get in these rooms? They say they from VA, but they not going hard to try to put VA on. I came from Georgia putting in pain. The music be hard, but it's a... Bro, if you say... Somebody say the music be hard, but the support not there. If the music was hard, the support would be there. It's undeniable music. Niggas is not making good music. When the last time a nigga made you get one to get up and get some money to it? When? When? Who dropping music right now that make you want to get some money? You can trap to this shit. You can wash your fucking car to this shit. You can drive to Atlanta to this shit. When? Who's the dude dropped the last good mixtape? Or good EP or album that you actually listen to and say, nigga, this nigga snapped on this shit. This nigga went crazy and I wake up and play this shit. You can't name them. Baby, am I crazy? Am I the only dumb nigga? I'm not a hater because I play all these type of shits. I'm turning on nigga shit. Bro, this nigga talk about the same shit. You done went from a motherfucking, you done went from a, a party rapping ass nigga, now you a scammer, now you a trapper, now you dr making drill music. Bro, what, man, get this clown ass nigga the fuck out of here, bro. This, these niggas chameleon rappers, bro. Who telling their story? You don't know nothing about these rappers. That's the problem. You don't know if these niggas got a mom. You don't know if these niggas got a daddy. You don't know if these niggas got kids. You don't know when the last time a nigga just... When has a nigga fucked up a hundred thousand and you can see the proof? Come on! Am I talking? Maybe I'm just talking. Maybe I'm talking. Y'all don't know nothing about your favorite local fucking rappers. The outside world don't know nothing about these niggas because they not rapping about shit. They're not rapping about their real life. They're not rapping about what we can see in the music. Even if you rap your fucking cousin life, can we see why you rapping this way? You will blow up. Niggas don't shoot documentaries. Niggas don't shoot real music videos. Niggas don't, you don't know nothing about these fucking rappers. Only thing you know is we in the same city and they make music. That's it. That's why they don't have real fans. The fans are here today and gone tomorrow. 
Who can y'all stick to? Got me fucking spitting this shit. Like some artist is only trying to impress VA just because you leave and buzz somewhere else don't make you not a VA artist. So how do you feel about Wild Boy? Do you see why Wild Boy show went up? Because Wild Boy is having motion. Not saying it's based around his music or what he doing. I've been told niggas, you have to leave Virginia, make people miss you, and when you come back, they're gonna miss you because they see the possibility of you blowing up and you never coming back to Virginia. That's what people wanna root for. They wanna root for you making it out of your circumstances and blowing up. You take a nigga like Wild Boy, he went from he went from jail, he went to perform. He got a whole crowd full of likes. It's the second time. People are rooting for that story to blow up and that story to win. Now he just need a hit song and put promotion behind the hit songs, do a media run, and blow the fuck up. He's posting about, oh, I went from jail. Oh, I'm here. I'm buying jewelry. I'm buying, I'm in the fastest whips. I'm in the fastest cars. Then I'm moving here, but then I go back to my city and then I do a show. And now you see all these people fucking with me in my city, whether they know my music or not. Because it's a possibility that he's never going to come back to this shit. That's having motion. That's the people supporting it. Y'all telling me he ain't just getting support? Come on, bro. Just say it, bro. Y'all scared to say it, bro. So I'll say it. If y'all want me to tell it to these niggas' face, tell them join the live and let's go ahead and go up. Let's get a thousand people in this bitch, a thousand people so I can look them in their face and tell them, you fell off. Your fucking music is not going nowhere. This shit sucks. It's time for the it's time for the new young niggas, bro. That's what the that's just the truth, bro. It's time for the new young niggas who ready to carry the ball, bro. Niggas dropped the ball. Niggas have fallen off. It's the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Niggas had too much ego. That's why the youngest here, you ain't giving the youth a chance with your old ass. Who the only nigga gave the youngest a chance? You telling me I ain't give Vogue Icy a chance? You telling me I ain't give Kyrie 3600 a chance? You telling me I ain't give... What's his name? I can't even think of that. Y'all can start naming a whole shit ton of niggas. I'm the only nigga. But I... I bet y'all never looked at this. Why don't why your favorite local rappers ain't go do songs and do videos with them young niggas? Why they don't post their music? Y'all talk about support so much. Why would niggas support it? Why would niggas having a moment they don't post each other music? Why would somebody surpassing these niggas they don't support their music? You ain't see nobody post your boozy in the last year. When Young Mo had that song with Kevin Gates, you ain't seen nobody post that shit or speak on it. Because niggas is in secret competition with each other. You seen me posting all, all that shit. I want to see y'all niggas go up. Let's talk the facts. Oh, this nigga got more jewelry than me. I can't stand beside this nigga. <laughs> oh, this nigga got a hit song. I'm not about to post his music. That's fake support. Everybody want to be the man, but not share the ball, not pass the ball. Some of y'all favorite locals is fucking haters. Is we going to speak the facts? What North rappers blowing up right now? I can only name, what, one? We got K.O. K.O. Banks. He out there doing his thing. He a young nigga coming up. He can pull 50,000 views on YouTube consistently. Drop after drop after drop after drop. Y'all don't support him? I know what I'm talking about. Why y'all don't support KO? He doing more numbers than your favorite local rappers. When you go and look at his Spotify, he got over 100,000 monthly listeners. Why y'all don't support that? It's gonna make, make sense when it makes sense. He getting support outside. That. He got a song with Trippy Red that's almost about to hit a million views. He got a song that's got 3.1 million views on its own in the last two years. Then he dropped a remix with Trippy Red and they got a million views, or about to hit a million views. Why y'all don't support that? And he a young nigga. So you don't know the young nigga. Young Chris is pulling in 9 million views off one project alone in the first week. Why I don't support him? Come on, bro. Let me read the comments. The problem for me is waiting damn near a year for someone to drop. Okay, let's, let me answer that. You know why niggas waiting a year to drop? 
because they have to accept they fall they fell off when they drop y'all don't go and eat their music up they know know that people like me are watching them when they drop they don't get 5,000 views on YouTube. When they drop, they don't get 10,000 plays. They stuck in the twilight zone from where everybody was liking their music. These niggas are grown now. That's not high school shit no more. The high school buzz has worn off. So you mean to tell me if I'm going from dropping and niggas is playing my shit, I'm getting 200,000 on YouTube, 200,000 views on YouTube in the first two, three months on every video I drop. Now I'm dropping and only getting 2,000 plays? Man, fuck that rap shit, bro. Niggas ain't fucking with me no more, bro. That's a hard fucking pill to swallow to know you fell off. They gotta go back to the drawing board and make better music. So that, that's why they waiting damn near a year. But after you take six months off, niggas don't want to hear that shit no more. Where you go? Why you stop rapping? It's some niggas who never had they shot and never had their moment, they can afford to take six months off and come back because they know they got the people rooting for them. But the niggas y'all put in them top 10, this nigga my top 10, this nigga my top 10, this nigga my top five. This. You mean the 10 minutes they stop? It's a re reason that they stop. Some go to jail, okay, cool. But some that's been out, never went to jail, why you think they not dropping? Or when they do drop, why they they drop and then disappear. Instagram un unactive. They only posting on their stories going to the club and shit like that. Nigga, you ain't in the studio? Cause you fell off. It's okay. Get you some money. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Get you some money. Make you some investments. You know what I mean? Just but tell your fans you're not a rapper no more. It's okay. You fell off. Keep your core fans. Drop music when you want to drop music. But you're not taking off as a rapper. It's okay. Tell your fans that. That you're not taking rap serious anymore because you see that you're not going to blow up with rap. It's okay. It's okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. And that's the that's been my problem with niggas because I thought niggas wanted to be rappers. So when I started addressing them as rappers and thinking they wanted to blow up, now it's like, bro, we getting the real money, bro. Niggas ain't worried about that rap shit no more. No, nigga, you fell off. You're scared to say you fell off, but I'll be the nigga to say you fell off. That's why you don't want to rap no more. Because if you had the whole city on your dick, if your music was traveling outside the states, you would be rapping forever. Nigga, Future is what, 44 years old still rapping? Because the people in the streets still fuck with Future. Right? Right? Take Meek Mill, for instance. You think Meek Mill ain't mad that he sold 6,000 fucking copies? You niggas is out your mind. <laughs> the fuck? Nigga went from selling 90,000 units to now selling 6,000, really 4,800. You think he's not mad? You think he still want to rap? Tell Meek get his ass in there and go make a hit fucking song. So it ain't just about some of these niggas. Nobody hit a million views yet. Bro, some of your favorite local rappers ain't hit a million views. They won't tell y'all that. Y'all just think they did. They didn't. I know what I'm talking about. 900,000 views ain't a million views. 750,000 views ain't a million views. A million views on Instagram is not a million views. So, Lex Lewis said, Virginia losing its momentum. But where he get that from? Where he get the conversation from? Me? Bro, how, how do we do this? How do we do that? What's going on in Virginia, bro? They really don't be fucking with me no more. I'm the first nigga you call. And then you say I'm lame. But you just regurgitated my whole motherfucking conversation I had with you on Instagram Live. And then turn around and say I'm lame. These niggas is weird, bro. That's why I don't even want to fuck with these niggas no more. Said he paid to open up for him. That's cool. We don't care. That's what you pose to do. Do you think some of these rappers, let's take for instance, do you think Baby Drill is not, and he, or Baby Kill, or Baby Drill from Atlanta right now is not going to pay to go open up for Young Boy or Future or No Cap? That's what you pose to do. So you can get you a fan base. So you can go and experience a bigger crowd that's never been before. So you could get their fans. And now when you go and sell out your own fucking tour, you got future fans, but now they're baby kid fans. This is what you're supposed to do. Don't get lost in the fucking sauce. Niggas better learn 
learn better marketing. Bro, niggas don't know what the fuck marketing is because people have been dick eating them for so long. Vlog can't choose who to support you. Um, if they, if they, okay, bro, if I post a song right now, if I go get in the studio with Lil Baby right now and my song sound half as decent, I guarantee you it's going to hit a million plus on, on, on Instagram. When I drop the song, is it going to do a million? This is what I mean by niggas is acceptable with the bare minimum. Bro, those are little baby fans rushing to my page because they see their favorite rapper is in the studio with somebody. That's not people liking what I'm doing. So if a nigga, if a nigga pay for a feature and they go get in the studio with somebody, those are those fans running to that page because they want to hear their favorite artist. But when them fans come come to your page or their Instagram pages, would they like what that artist putting out? Would they like their music? Would they like what they seeing? No, that's why the nigga shit not buzzing. Don't see what you see on Instagram and don't forget about YouTube. When you see it on Instagram, go straight to YouTube and see what the fuck is doing on YouTube. It's gonna fucking make sense when it makes sense to you. There's not enough controversy in VA to have a rap scene for real. That's why niggas like Anchor Trap, like Anchor Trap House Coda, Stay Solid, Rocky came and went. Bro, I can post a young nigga fighting right now. I can post a young, young niggas beefing right now, and it's going to go up and turn it up. It's still going on. It's nobody's covering that shit because the moment niggas cover that shit, oh, these niggas on some police shit, da, 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 but you post it. Niggas can't even handle the controversy. If I post it, I'm a police, and they mad that the bloggers posted. If Say Cheese posted, now they dick eating Say Cheese. Thank you, big bro, for giving me a shot. I don't care what you post. Oh, you niggas don't want to be rappers, bro. <laughs> when I was posting everybody in the bullshit, we was going up. Y'all got to celebrate the small wins, too. You might not be streaming or on billboards, but when you put in work and build leverage, it's going to show. Uh, VA, yeah, come on, bro. Thank you. Somebody said it. VA Ben lost his momentum, bro. Thank you. Whoever said that comment, thank you, bro. And I've been trying to tell niggas before this moment came. When every nigga was getting them PPP checks and they was talking all that shit. A thousand dollars is the new hundred dollars. Y'all niggas was supposed to put that money in y'all music. No, you niggas went and bought chains, you niggas went and rented cars, you niggas went and flew out the baddest bitches, and now what's going on? You gotta get jobs now. I'm not against the 9 to 5 niggas, because I'm still a 9 to 5 nigga if you want to keep the band. But I don't live there no more. I done been ran through my 250. I done been got my 800 credit score. Like, what the fuck? Numbers don't matter. No, she said numbers don't matter in today's industry. They got to do more than show numbers. Showing numbers from five years ago don't matter when you still in VA. Numbers do matter, sweetheart, but they don't got the fucking numbers. We not talk about one video from five years ago, bro. If you've been rapping, if you've been rapping since I've been in high school, I expect you to do good numbers between then and five years. But look in the last year. What have they done? 7,000 thousand views 1.5k views less than 10 you mean to tell me it take you eight months to do a thousand views but you got 50 60 thousand followers on instagram bro you might as well get on live and shake your ass every day and i bet you go up coke be out in seven months it'll be back glass i feel you. he's another one though Shout out Cocaine Molly. When Cocaine Molly was going up, you can see the difference. You can see the difference. You can see Cocaine Molly blowing up. You can see Cocaine Molly doing shows in North Carolina. You can see Cocaine Molly going to perform at Rolling Loud and have a crowd of people. You can see the motion on his own. But what Cocaine Molly fucked up is doing songs with 757 niggas that's nowhere on his level because he surpassed them. So he gave them niggas the buzz and the light that he had. And what did it do? It helped them. It didn't help him. He was supposed to take that moment and go up. It's going to make sense.
That's when it fucking makes sense. Niggas be trying to show love before they got down. Blow up, man. Blow up. But he's another nigga. With a co Why don't Cocaine Molly, he can show his numbers. He can show his moves. He can show his wave. He can show his movement. That's a nigga y'all should champion. I'm glad somebody said Cocaine Molly. Go ride his wave. Yeah, he know what to do. He know how to make buzz. He know how to get shows. He know how to get other states and other people to know his music word for word. He's showing y'all real motion. But we still talk about regular 757 favorite local niggas who can't leave the state and be somebody. I'm sorry. I'm just wanting to tell y'all the truth. Now your favorite local niggas have fell off. We lost this momentum. We keep saying I want to hear another I'm a dog. We're not going to hear it, bro. That was a time and a time when it was there. B.O. got to make another I'm a dog. Tell him make I'm a dog part two and snap on that motherfucker because we're going to remember I'm a dog one and we're going to listen to I'm a dog two. So he got to make another one. It ain't no I need to hear another one. No, he got to make another one. These niggas think features mean something. Bruh, the features do mean something. They mean, if okay, if I can get a song with Lil Baby, I'm going to keep saying Lil Baby. No, fuck that. If I can get a song with Rob Fortnite and do half a million on, on Instagram only, I got all the bitches, the local bitches that I've been waiting to fuck since high school or middle school. Y'all on my dick now because y'all think I'm going to blow up. So my money has went to the right place. I don't give a fuck about music. I'm about to fuck my favorite local bitch. I'm that nigga. Everybody thinking I'm finna blow up. They don't know that I'm not really popping the music. They see my Instagram. My Instagram lit. So I'm finna fuck my favorite local bitch. I don't give a fuck, fuck about flying to Houston and being somebody in Houston, Texas and fucking a bad Houston, Texas bitch with over a half a million dollars on her bank account and she got 600,000 followers on Instagram. I don't give a fuck about her. I give a fuck about my local bitch that I've been waiting to fuck for the last 10 years that I couldn't fuck until I paid for this future, this feature from Lil Baby. This shit ain't gonna make sense when it makes sense. I'm trying to help it make fucking sense for y'all. It sounds like I'm rambling though. This shit is crazy. <laughs> this shit is crazy, bro. bro. Bro, who listening to these niggas, bro? I don't want to call out no names, so I'm reading the comments. Who listening to these niggas, bro? Niggas can't get 5,000 plays in a day. Were you telling me people listening to these niggas? Niggas ain't listening to these fucking niggas. Y'all think these niggas listen to these niggas post their, okay, we can't see their Apple music. Tell them niggas post their Apple music. How many streams they got in the last fucking 10 days? Nigga, if I go and pay Rob for a nine or, 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 or Skiller Baby for a fucking feature right now, bro, that shit better give me 20,000 views in the same day the song drop. If it didn't, that feature didn't mean nothing. Them niggas ran off with the bread and they turning up. Them niggas got finessed, but they didn't get finessed because they get the fuck they favorite local bitch. They don't care about the music. So why y'all looking at these niggas like they rappers, bro? They doing this shit for clout. Y'all say I'm doing it for Instagram clout. Everybody fell out with me. I'm still doing my shit. So it ain't about clout. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Do they know what the fuck they doing? Or did they already achieve their goals? Because they get the fuck they favorite local Instagram bitch. You is talking too much. Not so not seeing enough or even hearing be honest you look at numbers with your stingy ass bro everything matters in fucking music shut up you dumbass nigga what the fuck i'm not gonna look at numbers for nigga but i'm also gonna look at a nigga shows where's the shows at niggas can throw a backyard show why they ain't throwing no backyard show because they know ain't nobody gonna fucking show up niggas can't pull a hundred people out that know they fucking songs word for word don't hate me bro. bro don't hate the messenger bro just look at the message i know i might don't Sound the best saying this shit. I'm just here to deliver the message, y'all, man. You feel me? If anybody telling you numbers don't fucking matter, you're fucking stupid. Niggas don't do that because they faking it or don't have real emotions. Just trying to be cool in their circle. Hey, man, if I got 10 niggas around me and all 10 of y'all is 100,000 niggas or 50,000 niggas and y'all can't give me a band to invest in my career... Bro, what the fuck I'm around y'all for? Y'all around me for the light, bro. It's cool. So let me fuck your hoe when I need to fuck your hoe.
He saying you a number whore, brother. All VA motherfuckers is narcissistic. Laugh aloud. Four views, but niggas room probably dirty as fuck. I'm also in a motherfucking five bedroom, three bathroom house. You bitch ass nigga. You got a shit in one bathroom. What the fuck is you talking about? You worried about a room. What the fuck? Is what? This would be wrong with you stupid ass niggas. Niggas trying to put y'all on game and you worried about how a nigga room look. Niggas ain't doing big bank take little bank with you dumb ass niggas. You niggas don't even know money. $30,000 is enough. It's, it's fucking a lot of money to y'all. It's still a lot of money, but to y'all, that's fucking life changing. Nigga, fuck your promo. I don't even want your money for your promo. Because my room dirty. So I'm going to show you that I can do this shit without your fucking $30. You bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I'm trying to prove a fucking point to y'all. Niggas are always worried about what the fuck I'm doing. Worried about what the fuck the rappers is doing. The rappers ain't doing nothing. Stu Money got the street. Shout out Stu Money. I love Stu Money music. I can play Stu Money music right now. You feel me? I can listen to Stu Money because Stu Money has been rapping reality music for the last past seven years. That I know of him. That's reality music. He's going to tell you. You can learn something from him. You can trap to him. You can laugh to his music. You can say, wow, what the fuck? Stu Money said that shit in his song? You can say that about Stu Money music. What about your favorite fucking rappers with over 20, 30,000 followers? What about them? They don't got to do that same shit, but Stu Money got to? So maybe we need to fucking blow up Stu Money and get him on a song with Pee Wee Longway. Fuck whoever you keep talking about. Lil' low, this nigga, that nigga. Shut up, bro. I really want to block you from the fucking live. Niggas definitely be in secret competition. They be scared of their support. I'm telling you, bro. You don't see these niggas doing it, bro. You don't see niggas doing it, bro. I'm sorry. Put all my niggas on. I'm going to take 10% whether well, it's... Nigga, I'm not putting you niggas on, nigga. If I put you niggas on, I want 90%, nigga. And I want your masters. And I want your publishing. And I'm going to leave you. You with a blow up mattress, nigga, in a low ass apartment. How about we do that? I'll put you on then. Niggas was only putting music out. What else were they doing? Y'all tell me what else was they doing? <clears throat> I'm not helping you succeed. Fuck your music career. Music is 20% of the business, the other 80. Bro, they don't know business. You know how they don't, how I know they don't know business? Why every, most of every local nigga right now, Still got a song that streamed the most on the videographer's page. Niggas don't even know the videographer that made more money off your music than you made off your music. Y'all gonna go get at the videographer or y'all just gonna be mad at Glass because Glass won't promote y'all. But the videographer that made thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands off your fucking music. What about them? They YouTube is lit because y'all niggas. We going to talk about that business? Say who you... I'm talking about all these niggas. Virginia losing its momentum. You niggas always trying to make it about some beef shit. Nigga, fuck these... Fuck every last one of them niggas. Them niggas don't feed me. And I, you know why I can say that? Because when niggas was having their moments, niggas ain't pay me. I was turning them up. I was giving them my light. More light than they ever received in their career ever. So if you want to think... Niggas be fuck them niggas. Go tell them niggas any last nigga you think about. Hey, bro, Glass said fuck you. Tell them join the live and I tell them to their face, fuck you. What you gonna do? You gonna yell at me through the phone? Nigga, I'm from downtown Newport News. Nigga, kill me. Fuck is you talking about? And Black, you met me in person, bro. So don't try to play it like I'm a bitch ass nigga. You met me, bro. This is why I don't be fucking with niggas, because niggas will get on the internet and see me doing the blog shit and think I'm a hoe. Fuck out of here. We have a lot of good artists. They just don't promote themselves or have no support. Okay. A producer, try. You, you still so lame. If you see, if you think making me mad is going to make me go listen to your music and turn you up, you are got another fucking thing coming. I'm out here trying to give you advice and you you trying to make me mad and you ain't making me mad. You think these people finna go and look at your room 
or listen to your music when you talking about another nigga room? Bro, what the fuck is you talking about? This is stupid. <clears throat> I mean, man, you know, I ain't trying to, bro, I ain't trying to go go back and forth with niggas, bro. I'm just here to just tell niggas the truth, bro. Y'all done, y'all done gassed niggas up and had these niggas thinking they was gonna blow up, and they really thought they was gonna blow up to the point they stopped investing in their music, they stopped taking music serious, they stopped thinking that they got, I mean... Cartel count him. He said, what you feel like the artists need to do? Put a plan together. First and foremost, make good music, bro. Can they rap? Do We don't even know if these artists can rap anymore. You don't see niggas go live with their fans. You don't see niggas uploading freestyles on their on they Instagram. You don't see niggas being consistent. You don't see these niggas nowhere else but on Virginia blog pages. Just think about that. How is your music traveling outside the states if you niggas keep worried about Glass TV posting you? You ain't worried about no Florida pages posting you? You not being consistent? You don't have no bloggers blogging about you? Yo, YouTube isn't consistent? Nobody even know you don't have a documentary out? You don't shoot music videos for real? Yo, cover art trash? You have no direction? What the fuck happened? You not a rapper? Bro, you just a nigga who lit on Instagram. You know what I mean? So when you say, what do niggas need to do? They got to put a plan together. This is what I'm about to do. I'm about to tell my fans, first and foremost, I fell off. I fell off. You not going to see these artists do that because they scared of people saying that they fell off. You have to keep it real with your fans. Tell your fans why you fell off and the reason why you putting this run back together. And they going to support you. They need to understand why you stop putting on Christian Dior and why you back to putting on white t-shirts. A lot of niggas is stuck in a box because they didn't created a fake lifestyle for themselves. Now they gotta live that fake lifestyle, but they can't afford to live the fake lifestyle. So start by being humble. Tell your fans, I fell off, bro. I thought I was bigger than I was. I thought my music was bigger than anything. I fell off. I got cocky. I had to do it. They scared of that. They scared to say, bro, this shit ain't work, bro. I need to get back in the studio. I need to make them hits because they looking for niggas to, oh, you got a chain on. Oh, you got a lease car. A lot of niggas, let's say 757. A lot of 757 rappers started trying to live like Young Money Yawn. Young Money Yawn when they got the money first. Young Money Yawn when they put business before music. I can respect that as well. You're not going to hear these niggas say, bro, I fell off, bro. It's all good, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling niggas how to do it. Say you fell off. Tell the, Keep it real with the fans and the followers so they can understand what your real story is. We don't know these niggas' story, bro. We don't. They don't post their kids. They don't take care of their kids, in my eyes. They don't do community givebacks. When the last time you seen one of these big rappers give back to their community? When have they done a bike drive? It's the rappers with little buzz than compared to them niggas that's doing it. But y'all hold them in high regards. For fucking what? They're not good human beings. It's no humility going around that bitch. She said, can't even cap appearances matter to you can sound the part but not look the part. Yeah. I'm, I mean, baby girl, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm telling you. When little baby got out of jail, when little baby had that that small ass little baby chain on. Why do we start fucking with little baby? He's fresh out of jail. We like this nigga. He can rap good. It's something different coming from Atlanta. We gonna wait and we gonna grow with him until he get the big chains. Once he get the big chains, we know he's at a different level. Don't skip the story. You got niggas.